hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this beautiful responsive e-commerce website by just using simple html css and bootstrap guys this uh, website is completely responsive first of all here we have our simple navigation bar on the left side here we have our logo and on the right side here we have our nav links and after that uh, i use this uh, slider the bootstrap slider and adding some duration with this slider and first of all here we have one heading and a paragraph and after that we have one button with the hover effect and after that here we have one image and after that we have our another section first of all these uh, are some headings with the icons and i get all these icons from the font awesome website from where you can get every type of icon for free so you just have to download the link and paste it in your html file and in the last we have our email section and one subscription button with the hover effect and after that i have a collection we have a collection uh, section new collection first of all a heading and after that i use uh, four cards and inside these cards i use these images and also add one add to cart button whenever we hover on this image it shows us the add to cart button with the hover effect and after that the product name and some prices after this section i have uh, we have our parallax section first of all one background image uh, we add the parallax effect on this background image first of all one heading after that one paragraph and after that we have two buttons and the background is fixed of this image and after that we have our feature section this feature section is same as our collection section First of all, we have one heading and after that we have some these images. This These are same as our collection section. Whenever we hover on this image, it shows us this add to cart button. And after that we have uh, the product name and some prices. And after that we have our latest article section. These are the three images and one link. Through this link you can visit this uh, article okay guys so in the last we have our email section uh, first of all one email uh, one email section input section with the box shadow and after that we have one button and in the last we have our copyright uh, paragraph so okay guys this is our uh, e-commerce website and by building this uh, website you can learn most of bootstrap classes and some of css uh, guys this website is completely responsive let me show the responsiveness of this website so okay guys this is our website in the mobile screen this is responsive you can see this uh, website in mobile ipad or any any type of touch screen this is completely responsive so okay guys let's get started first of all here we have some images and one html file and one css file So guys before starting with the bootstrap you have to copy the started template from the get bootstrap website. Come here in the documentation and copy this started template and paste it in your html file. Now remove this unwanted content and here is our css file. First of all I am taking our universal tags padding 0 margin 0 and box sizing is border box so now let me link this css file in our html file so after this first of all here we have our navbar and uh, come here in the get bootstrap website on the components and now click on the navbar and here you can see different types of navbar so copy any of one that you want to use in your website I'm just uh, copying and pasting this simple one and now uh, we have to remove the unwanted uh, classes from this navbar first of all we want this white background for this navbar and change 
the brand the navbar brand and remove this glasses and this disable class so now we are going one more nav item with the contact and the blog uh, we want some padding right between this link so add padding right 5 to all of these links and now you can see this uh, nav bar now let me add some more classes we want padding left in this uh, logo and i am going to add the margin right margin left auto because we want this nav links on the right side so now let me edit this uh, nav links in our css Copy this nav item class and start designing in our CSS. The color will be black and the font weight will be bold like uh, 600. And now uh, let me refresh. As you can see here, instead of using nav item class, use the nav link class right over here. So here you can see the result. We get this black color. And now let me add the black color on this logo navbar brand the color will be black and let me add the font size and the font weight as well to this logo and the font the font size uh, will be 30 pixel and the font weight will be 800 so now after this navbar we are going to design our uh, another section of the slider after this nav link after this nav bar we are going to design this slider and i also get this slider from the get bootstrap website and i use some images so right here click on the carousel and copy the carousel with the caption copy this one and paste it right here so now we are going to add some classes and remove some classes first of all our images because we don't want this content right here so just remove this and add one container and our row and inside this row I am taking the column of 8 for the last screen and now I am taking this paragraph and the h1 heading and this is our h1 heading And the margin left and right will be auto because we want this uh, content in the center these columns in the center so now if you refresh as you can see here we have one image and this content in the center but we want this content in on the left side so now let me copy this and paste it right over here in the second slider and add the image for the second and third slider so if you refresh now you can see the output we got all these images with this content with the caption in the center but we want this caption in the left side so now let me add some classes to this so we will get this caption on the left side justify content start and the text will be left 
so now if you see the output so here you can see we get this uh, content on the left side but we want this content on the top left side so just copy these classes and paste it in every slides inside the row and now let me add some CSS copy this carousel caption class and start designing it right over here first of all the position will be absolute and the top will be 55% and the transform translate y will be minus 80% and the left uh, margin left will be minus 8 pixel so here you can see we get all this content on the top left side so now right here let me add the font size to this heading the 70 pixel and the color and the font weight will be like uh, 6 400 and the color will be black so now let me refresh as you can see we got this heading and after that let me edit the paragraph the color will be black and the font weight will be 600 so now if you refresh so here you can see we get all this uh, carousel slides and now let me add some duration the data interval for these slides I'm first of all I'm taking a 200 2000 so as you can see we got these slides with the 2000 interval so it can slide fast so the another thing that we want is uh, the button after this heading now let me add the button the button shop now and with the class of btn zero and margin top will be three and margin left will be two so now let me design this button in our CSS first of all the background color that will be red and the height will be 45 pixel and the width will be like 150 pixel and the color of the text will be white and the outline will be none the border will be none So as you can see we designed this button but now we have to add the hover effect on this button whenever we hover on this button it will change the background color the white and uh, the color of the text will be red and the transition in which the hover effect will be that will be 4 seconds whenever we hover on this button it changes background color and the text color So after this we have to design this another section with this icon and heading and one input and the subscribe button. And after this uh, command I am taking one section with the class of sub and the container. And inside this container I am taking one row and inside this row I have to take uh, four columns with the three columns for the large screen three columns and let me copy this uh, three columns class two times three times more and inside this three column I'm taking one more row for the icon and for the heading for the icon I'm taking two two columns and for the heading I am taking ten columns For this heading I take 10 columns 
and now let me copy this heading here I am adding some responsiveness for the medium for the medium screen and for the small screen and for the extra small screen so we will get this section responsive and let me paste it in all of our columns and now here in, inside this spam tag I am taking our uh, icons let me copy this row and paste it inside this columns so let me copy this heading and paste it in the so these are our headings and inside this last column I am taking our input section and one subscribe button first of all I am taking one row and inside this row I am taking this input type text and the placeholder will be email your email and uh, the button subscribe button with the class of btn1 so we will design this btn1 in our CSS so now if we, I refresh this is our output and now let me add some padding top and bottom to this container and the text will be white so now if I see the output so here you can see we get all this uh, section with the white text and after that let me add the background color to this uh, section Last sub and the background color will be black gray color first of all the background color I'm taking gray so here you can see this color now let me change this color so here you can see we get this background color and the heading and this input section and the subscribe button and now let me design the input section inside this subclass the height will be 51 pixel and the width will be like 50 percent and the color will be black the outline will be none and the padding left right and top and bottom will be 10 pixel now I'm going to design our btn1 Subs height will be 50 pixel and the width will be 50 percent the color white and the background color is yellow green the outline will be none and the border will also be none now let me add some margin left that will be minus 2 pixel so we will get this input section and this uh, subscribe button so now let me add some hover effect on this subscribe button whenever we hover on this button it changes its background color and the text color as well the black now let me change this black color and the color of the text will be white and the transition will be 0 0.6 second so as you can see we add this uh, hover effect on this button so the next thing that we are going to add is our icons I'm using the font awesome website for the icons just copy this and paste it inside the spam tag just paste it right here inside this spam tag And now here I'm using our next icon 
just copy this uh, classes and paste it inside this i tag and now paste this another icon with the name of sync and now I'm designing these icons inside the CSS the font size will be 32 pixel so before using this uh, font awesome icons you have to copy this link and paste it in your HTML file when you are signing for the font awesome website then they will send you this uh, link in the form of git right here I just use this font awesome property not good so now if you refresh this icons so here you can see this is our next section so after this section we are going to design this new collection section so I am starting with the new section section with the class of collection the container and one row and also I'm taking three columns and before this row I'm taking this heading the new collection with the class of text center I'm taking some padding top and bottom inside the container and inside the row Uh, for this uh, three uh, four columns I'm taking class and inside this class I'm taking one image and whenever you are taking images in the bootstrap you have to use the bootstrap class image fluid and just copy this column and now like, if you refresh you can see this image right here and uh, before this after this image I am taking the the heading this product name and the paragraph having some delete data this price and after that our new colorful heading So now if you refresh SK, as you can see here we have a border on this card and so we have to remove this border from this card and now let me take some bar margin bottom before inside this card and right here I'm taking uh, the class of card this collection and the span tag the color will be yellow green and the font size will be 19 pixel and the font weight will be 800 and the padding left is 5 pixel 